with um, texturing the long claw sword. This is, uh, I guess, part two. Um, so this is where we're at right now. And, um, you know, we've, fit, we've put in the mil uh, materials that we want into into the scene. Now, there's something... Is that... That doesn't look correct. That looks like I must have accidentally put leather onto my sword here. So let me just fix that. I'm just going to turn off the leather just to see. Yeah, so I definitely did. So to fix this, I'm just going to go to the mask of the leather. I'm just going to go to the mask, go to paint... And I'm just going to go to object mode, which is uh, four. And I'm just going to um, go to object mode. And I'm going to press X um, to make it painting black. Painting black means that you don't want that material or the, um, applied to that area. So I'm, so I'm just going to drag it like there. There we go. Yeah, so that should fix that um, but now I don't have steel so I'm just gonna go to the steel mask go to paint now I'm gonna press X again to convert this back to white and now I'm gonna add that and then it should add that um, material or that object into that material cool so let's go back to painting here so there's a few things that I want to do so now we're gonna get into more of the nitty-gritty um, details of this so we're, this is where reference is going to come in handy. And um, right away, what I noticed with the sheath and the belt and stuff is that it has this really cool material or this kind of cool texture. Um, so I need to figure out how I'm going to create this texture. And so one, I can... There's a couple of ways that I can do this. I can either go into Photoshop and kind of paint in this kind of um, this kind of repeated texture here, and then just tile it, or I can model these little details in Maya and then make a, a height map from it and then use that as a tiling texture. So there's definitely a couple ways that I could do this. Um, So let's try out a few different options here. Uh, let's try out a few different options here. So there's like this little square here. Um, so there's the squares and then there's the line there. This might be a good substance designer. Might be a worth creating a substance designer for this actually. Might be kind of a cool one to. It's been a while since I've been back in Substance Designer. This might actually be a fun one to create in Substance Designer, um, which means that it's going to take me. So first off, it's always important to prototype it and make sure that the idea that I have is actually going to work, right? You don't want to go too far um, in trying out a new technique and then it doesn't work, because that really sucks. Um, if that if that happens so um, okay so let's go here so how would this work so what I can do is I can go to I can make that I would have I feel like I would have to almost re UV it though if I do it that way if I do it that way I might have to re UV it rejig it put it into a separate is it worth it? Is it worth that trouble? That's the that's the other thing. Hmm. I'm not sure. That's that's the big thing is I'm not sure. I'm 
Not too sure how I would tackle this here. Um, it would be cool to make a substance designer out of it, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how it would tile. Hmm. Put a height on it. Okay, so I guess the main thing. Now the problem that I have with doing it that way as well. Okay, so let's say I, let's say that I do do this. So let's go leather. So sheath pattern. Uh, let's call this test or something, right? And then now let's go um, and put, I'm gonna duplicate, I'll duplicate this. Okay, and then instead of this uh, being the height here, Let's try something else. Let's try like barcode or something just to kind of see. So it looks like that it could work. Because even if I scale this down to like one, or maybe not one, let's go 10, fine, 50. Okay, because let me show you one option. Okay, let me show you one option that you could do. Uh, so what we can do So this is one option, one way to do this without doing a tiling texture. Um, and again, I don't know which one is like the right way. Um, because there's really no right way of doing it. Um, but let's say uh, we duplicate, let's say we duplicate this one. Okay, so let's just redo this. And what we're gonna do is, um, no, wait, does that make sense? No, that doesn't make sense. Let's delete this, sorry. And so we only want, so let's go and do that. Uh, let's go, I believe it's right click, no right click this to sharpen it. And let's say we, I'm gonna color them, oh, oops. I wanna go into paint. Right, because we are wanting to, now the problem is getting right into there. So if I go to F1 or F3, um, to go in and paint out because now we're essentially painting out that area so that we can ha create a new pattern here, right? Um, so this is one way of doing it. It's obviously very, a lot, I don't know if it's more tedious, because um, I think both ways are gonna be tedious. Uh, the other way it does allow me to do Substance Designer, which is, like I said, it's been a long time since I've been in Substance Designer, uh, but I'm not sure. That's funny. It's probably just leaking through from the other side. Um, so 
So yeah, so this is more of like the finessing part of things. Um, which again is just gonna take some time. So, um, So let's now see how this looks like um, down here. So already we kind of get that separation going on. Um, I'm gonna have to clean that up a little bit later on. And again, like this detail, not a lot of people are gonna really notice it. So it's like, ugh, do I really wanna spend that much time on it? Like, yes I do, like, like you should. Um, the payoff might not be worth it, but I think it's definitely <clears throat> I think it's definitely um, worth doing for now. Uh, I just press tab to change to um, a view that is less UI and just more more canvas space. Uh, so that's just pressing tab. Um, I find that the UI can be quite jarring. Like the, it's just, it takes up a lot of space. So when you're in Substance Painter and um, just easier to look at, I find. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna kind of continue to paint this through here. I'll do that on both sides as well. Um, there. Um, so now let's go back to F1. All right, so now we have a little bit more of that going on. All right, versus this. See, so we can kind of tell the difference between that and that. All right. Okay, so now, now I just gotta do it on this side as well, which is a little bit tougher to see, but uh, gotta do it. So F3. Um, Doing this here. Um, hmm. What else can we? Um, yeah, and then once we start finishing up some of these, like this again is just more of like the little details. Uh, most people, honestly, won't even notice these little things. They'll just notice. I mean, I guess that's not true because if this is the only asset that I'm going to be rendering out, this is all they get to see, which means that because this is all that they get to look at, they might, they're probably more likely to be critical. Whereas if you have a environment or a scene, um, there's so much to look at that um, it can take away um, your attention onto certain things, so, um, so that's definitely something to, to think about as well. That didn't look like that was very straight, so let me just redo that. Um, so I guess that's that's the negative thing about just making an asset like this, and then just having this as the only thing in the scene, is that it will be um, criticized a lot differently compared to when if it's in the scene. Um, so there's some separation there. Um, now as for creating like, so this is already kind of like a little box thing. Um, so what I can do is I can go in and I can like paint them out individually. I can do that. That might be a pain. A pain. Um, so right now we have like, 
this line um, is kind of like this kind of line out here and then we have this line um, and then this so uh, what I can do and, and again you want to test this out is if I just go in and I erase no that's not going to work that's not going to work okay okay so that's not going to work um, so now what happens so from this distance it looks pretty decent um, for that little detail there uh, let's go and take a look at the belt because I noticed the belt let's just quickly save this here I'm going to take a little quick drink hopefully the mic volume is okay I forgot to completely check that um, so whoops if that doesn't go through the mic is actually working okay good it's detecting I didn't do a mic check uh, which is my fault uh, let's check chat no chat no chatter uh, let's see um, it's already been 15 minutes oh my god 15 minutes and that's all I did it's just a little detail there um, okay so the belt also has this same type of detail right so this is actually not just the sheath this is also on the belt so I need to do this detail on the belt as well um, so I'm gonna go to a mask I'm gonna paint I'm gonna go to object mode uh, do I want to go to object mode hmm let's go to UV mode instead so let's go or sorry let's go to object mode and let's go UV shells instead uh, white to add it to that uh, to that mask so I'm just gonna add what happened did I add it in there yeah it did um, so now it's doing some stretching okay so I gotta be careful with that I'm gonna add these UV shells into there as well so now we have that Ooh, so that's not liking it it's not liking that okay yeah it's not liking that because it's now getting rid of that so oof, this might be a tough one there's some UV stretching there as well that I might want to fix up. Um, hmm. This is tricky. This is tricky because I went in and I actually painted these. Uh, so that's the belt hole. Okay. This is going to be a toughie. It's going to be a toughie. Um, okay. I think we might just have to leave it like that because if I, it, it would take a lot of work for me to go in and paint these individually to make it fit, um, to have the same pattern on this belt as well. Um, and just from the looks of it, um, it just might be way too much work. The effort to do that is going to be more than what it's worth. So I think for now, we'll leave the sheath the way it is. Um, let's focus more on this wolf thing. So this thing is coming along a lot nicely. Um, like I said before, the... Um, the head skull thing is uh, the, this plastic is causing some seams so I need to be careful with that and I might need to um, either one let me see here so let's take a look at how this so this generator so if I turn off this generator yeah, so it's definitely this generator that's causing the the seam. So let's just play around with the settings. So it's not that one. Is it the dirt level? No. Okay, so what I can do here is I can just go in to the mask. I'm going to add a paint to it. And here I'm just going to kind of paint it in so that 
it kind of covers up the seam a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go to like uh, dirt four. Um, let's make sure that the spacing is good. Uh, maybe that's not that. Maybe that's not good. Um, let's see brushes. Let's take brushes here, and let's go with. I like a little paint sprays. Paint spray is not bad. Um, spot spray. Uh, nope. Paint spray. Paint spray. I think is a little bit nicer. Uh, I'm going to change uh, the color to white instead of black. So it just inverted the color. Um, and so we're just gonna test this out. We're gonna see how we can paint this in and see if we can cover this up a little bit better. Um, doesn't really cover it up very well, to be honest. Uh, roughness is fine. And again, people aren't gonna be too close to it, so people might not even notice it. Um, it's too bad though because this is this really adds so much to it that I really can't just get rid of it. Um, okay, so let's see if I if I go to paint here and then I go X and I remove it, right? So let's say I remove it. So if I remove it, then it looks fine, right? The seams are okay. Um, yeah, so maybe I just remove it slightly just to kind of get rid of that seam there All right just remove it a little bit and maybe remove it a little bit organically I'll, maybe, I'll move it a little bit more on this side so that it's less uniform there we go so that kind of helps hides it a lot better there um, there All right and then this way I'm going to remove some over here just to kind of uh, then there's a seam here, so I'm just going to move the light over. Um, so I move the light over by holding shift and what is it? Left, right click? Uh, right click. Sorry, I'm using my tablet now. I try and use my tablet as much as I can when I'm painting specifically. Um, so again, I'm just going to go paint this out just a tad bit. There we go. See, it's just even painting it just a tad bit out um, really helps get rid of the seam. So this seam is pretty bad, right? Whereas this seam, you can't really see it, uh, but this seam, you can totally see it. So we're gonna try and organically remove it as much as we can. There we go. And then I'm just gonna try and go with the, with the strokes here. Um, and then hopefully we can remove some of this There we go. There. And then, I mean, it's still there a little bit. Um, so what I can do is I can make my brush a little bit smaller so it doesn't affect too much of it. And then I'll just start painting it away. There. So um, now I need to kind of make this look as natural as possible because now that looks way too clean. So I might need to go back in and and just maybe make this side a little bit cleaner, just like that, right? Because right now it looks like there's a line there. So I'm just gonna make one side a little bit cleaner, just kind of finesse it a little bit more. Um, and then what I'll do is maybe I'll turn it to white and then I'll paint it in naturally myself instead of using the generators, right? Um, Yeah, see, so now if I paint this in by myself without the generators, it's going to look a little bit nicer. Uh, let's just go like that. Uh, it's for spacing. So let's just go like that. There. OK. 
paint in this little crevice. So yeah, so generators can um, create some seams, right? When you're painting on the geometry, it should be a lot better. So that's another way to kind of help hide it. So I could just like hide this a little bit better by adding in my own little paint there, right? Again, more finesse stuff, right? Now, what does start to happen though is, do you see how this is a little bit sharper than this? So, you know, you kind of have to play around with it. Again, people probably won't even notice that, but um, you do want to keep that in mind. Um, so let's go back. I'm going to change it to black so I can um, remove some of this here. There. So there we go. So it gets rid of that seam. Uh, I'm going to move the light to see if there's any other seam. So yeah, so there is a little small seam here. Not very noticeable, so I'm going to leave that. And so what I'm going to do is maybe I'll add so I'm going to make I'm going to change the light I'm going to add more dirt, dirt and stuff in here just to cover this up a little bit more this mouth here there we go cool 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 All right, so we got some scratches in there. Um, I am actually gonna make the scratches. So I'm gonna go to the material for the scratches inside the plastic. I'm just gonna bump this up even more to like 0 0.1, 0 0.2. There we go. Just so we get a little bit more variation. I'm actually gonna go in, into the mask here because I feel like um, the scratches are kind of generated everywhere. So I'm just gonna go to the paint and I'm just going to go to X to remove some of these scratches and make it a little bit more, um, in certain areas and less in certain areas. So, um, so the tops should have a lot of scratches, um, but like areas like maybe here in the back here probably shouldn't have too many. So again, just varying up some of these little procedurally generated stuff, um, just to kind of. Make it not look too procedural. Like having some of these details really, really cool, but I want to make sure that it's not just everywhere. All right, like this eye. I'm going to remove the scratches from the eye. All right. Let me stretch from the eye here. Cool. All right, so from this distance, it looks really cool. Um, so we got some dirt, we got some scratches, we got some edge damage, cool, 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 all oh, that's sweet. Um, so let's take a look at this. So this is supposed to be the edge damage. Um, I want to see if I even notice the difference. I don't really notice the difference, right? So, um, so let's try and bump this I'll see if I notice any thing here. So this is supposed to be edge damage. I'm just going to disable it just to see if I notice. So the edge damage is kind of happening around here. So let's turn it off. Okay. Let's move the light over so we can see it. Let's turn it back on. Okay. So the base color might need to be more white, just to kind of give you more of a different look to it. Um, the roughness, okay, roughness is not bad. Metallic, yeah, it's not metallic. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing too much of, it adds a little bit of detail. Um, Let's go 0.6. Let's see what happens if I go 0.6. So 0.6 adds more to it. But again, I'm just not really noticing it anywhere and it might not even be worth having. 
um, to be honest. Let's check out the mask that's being created. So it's just painted. So it's just painted. Um, no, I don't think this is worth it. It just doesn't do too much for me. It just adds more noise. So I'm just going to delete that, to be honest. It doesn't really do anything, so I just remove it. Um, now for now for the leather um, let's check out the leather here for the sword so the leather I believe is here so let's check out some of the procedurally generated stuff that's on here so let's check out the dust okay so the dust does add a little bit Take a look at the material of it. Now the dust is black. So you're not gonna see too much. Right? So I'm gonna change this to maybe change this one like this. So multiply. Okay. So I guess the color doesn't really matter. So if the color doesn't really matter, then you can just kill the color. It's not going to change anything. Um, so the dust is essentially just this layer of um, of roughness, essentially, um, and a little bit of height. So okay, so that's fine. I don't mind that. It just adds a little bit to it. Um, just covers it up a little bit more. Uh, now edge damage. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, so let's figure out what we want to do here. So the height for this is a little bit, so that's too much, right? So what they had is probably more right of what we want. Okay, awesome, awesome. So that's the edge damage. Um, Okay. So I'm assuming that this area here is probably going to be way more used than up here. So what I can do is I can uh, go and add a paint. And then if I want to, I can um, turn this up. So edge damage, I'm just going to edge damage more of this area here. Right, just kind of give it more, it's been worn down kind of look. Right. And uh, let's kind of do some of that. Right, because he's going to be grasping the sword a lot right around here. So I'm just going to kind of mimic that a little bit more. So like the leather is a little bit more been more used and worn. Um, so yeah, just gonna kind of add in that little detail there, right? So there we go. So there's a little bit of sheen going on up at the top and stuff, but right down here, right in the middle, the leather's been worn up. It's been a little bit worn. Maybe I did that a little bit too much, so we can just crank it down a little bit more like that, right? So you can crank it up 50%, it's cranking up to 72% maybe, just so it still has the shininess, but you can tell that the leather has been used. Um, so let's go, actually like that, 50%. So let's go 50%. So at least there is still that shine in, in the areas, um, and there's still an overall shine to it. So that's cool. And cool, cool, cool. All right, so now it's the steel. Let's go take a look at this, the blade of the sword. Oh, sorry, what did I just do? Um, so the steel, let's see how much time do I have here? It's already been 34 minutes. Uh, so I got another probably 25, so 8, 25 is when I'll stop. Uh, let me, hold on, I haven't checked chat in a while. Nope, no chatter. Um, okay, so let's go to the steel here and let's go to the surface. 
surface details. So not too much surface detail going on. Um, let's check out the, the details here. Uh, so let's just height, right? So if I just go height here, and what happens if I just crank up the height on some of this stuff? So, so let's crank it all the way up. So, ooh, right? Like that's not like that. No, 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 no. So no, the sword is not that badly damaged, right? So we'll leave that for there. Now as for roughness detail, this kind of gives you a little bit more um, it just adds a little bit more roughness to it um, to kind of show you that's been used, right? Um, that's not as shiny as it used to be. Now what happens if I crank this height up? Ooh, you, you, you don't want that, okay. Um, so I think overall this, the blade looks fine, you know. Um, I don't think we need to do too much on there. Now as for um, this type of area, like like roughness, like I feel that we can definitely add some more like grime and dirt though, okay? Like just a little bit more grime and dirt. So I'm just gonna, um, hold on, so edges, Let's see what this is all about. So this is just giving things a little bit more of an edge. So that's just cranking up the edges a little bit. Let's just crank this up just a little bit. No. Just crank it up just very subtly. Okay. So let's just add a little bit of dirt into some of these areas because this is looking pretty clean. So let's just go. I'm going to add in a new uh, fill layer here. I'm going to call this like a dirt. Overall dirt on the steel here. Um, let's go to smart mask and let's just go to um so there's dust there's dust dirty um, let's try dust dirty just put the smart mask onto the dirt now <clears throat> So this is dirt. So we're gonna change this to more of like a brown, like a brown green kind of look that we kind of had earlier, right? Like that. And obviously this looks blah, right right now. Um, so we're gonna go. We're gonna have height. We're gonna have roughness. Definitely not metal. So height, we're gonna bump this up just a tad bit. Okay, um, and then we're going to, the roughness is gonna be, let's say 0 0.9. Let's say 0 0.8, All right? So now it has like this dirty kind of look to it and it matches more, a little bit more to that. Um, the UV scaling on this, let's go like 10 to kind of give it a nicer, more details. Uh, did that even do anything? Let's see. Yeah, I did a little bit. Okay. Um, all right, let's, let's crank this up to like 50 maybe. Yeah, didn't really do much. Okay, we'll leave it at three. Um, height. So yeah, so we've added a little bit of height for the dust, um, roughness, cool. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is we can start to adjust the mass generator. So we're gonna do that right now. So global balance, if we crank this down a little bit so there's not too much of it. Yeah, that looks a little bit nicer when it's just a little bit of it. Um, so let's just crank this down a little bit more, yeah. There we go. So let's just crank this down a little bit here. All right. Um, I'm assuming that he's going to keep his blade like relatively clean, right? 
So what we'll do is we'll leave some of it inside there, but we'll leave, but we'll have some, we'll definitely keep some on. Um, I'm gonna change this dirt to be a little bit more of a darker dirt color. Um, okay, cool. So now we have that, and then we're gonna go to uh, paint. And we're gonna paint um, it in a little bit more. So um, it's probably gonna be dirty in the edges, right? So we're gonna kind of paint it in some of the dirty little areas here. All right? So we're just gonna go in, just gonna kind of paint that up. Right, and then um, there's probably going to be some collecting underneath here as well. Uh, collecting there. I'm going to change up my brush because I'm starting to feel like it's uh, getting a little bit too uniform. Uh, we're going to create some more over here, like at the back or at the bottom. So that's probably where um, you won't catch it, right? Um, hold on, let's see here. So now, uh, I still like this. Okay, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually remove some over here because right now I feel like it's a bit too strong. Uh, the flow is not very good though, so I'm just gonna change this up. Gonna do something like that. There's that was a seam there, but I think that was a seam from um, just the UVs. So, um, uh, and then I'm just gonna remove some of the, most of this. Like I want to keep some of it on, but I don't want to have. It's just a little bit too much. All right. Um, I'm gonna bring the flow down a little bit. And let's just paint this in. And then I'm gonna press X to invert and I'm gonna start painting. Oh, I wanna paint essentially uh, this little crevice here because I would assume that that would be dirty uh, right where the blade meets. Because I'm sure there'll be lots of blood and, and all that stuff that's gonna be collecting on there. Uh, I'm not going to paint blood though, I'm just going to paint like dirt. Alright, so there we go. So there's a little bit of dirt there. Um, maybe a little bit of dirt inside this little crevice as well. Alright, let's just get a little bit more. Let's get a little bit crazy. There we go. There you go. All right, cool. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so now we have the handle kind of dirtied up a tad bit. I'm gonna dirty this up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, so hopefully this is uh, helpful for you. I don't like this. I don't know if this is like boring for people to watch or whatever. Um, and I'm sorry that it, if it is, uh, for those who are learning, this might be kind of handy to kind of see how this is done. Um, but for the more experienced guys, you might be just be like, Ugh, "This is boring." Um, and I'm sorry if that's the case for you. Um, so this, I'm just gonna. Oof, no, that's way, 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 way too strong. Um, I might just go for a default hard here. And um, uh, default hard might be too hard. Uh, so let's just go in and start removing some of this because this is a little bit too much, right? Um, again, I really like this spot spray. Let's see how good spot spray is. Spot spray is not too bad. And let's go smooth noise. Smooth noise might be better. Here we go. Um, so yeah, so we do want to keep some of this, but we don't want to keep it 
like too much, right? Like let's um, so I'm gonna bring the flow up a little bit, just to kind of speed this up a tad bit. And I'm going to assume that the edge, the outer edge of the blade, is not going to have much of dirt and stuff because you're probably going to be taking care of, you're wiping that down like often, right? So, uh, so yeah, so we're going to go in here and so let's do that. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, so there's still a little bit of dirt, but not too much of it. Um, so I'm just gonna keep painting here. And uh, for some of you who uh, you might have noticed. Uh, when this publishes on YouTube, um, you're receiving videos now on Monday and Fridays. Um, and that's mostly because uh, after a month of uh, committing myself to uh, doing a little bit more YouTube and stuff like that, I've been noticing that uh, one hour uh, a week is just not enough. Um, what is that? It's, uh, it's not enough for me to get any... Hold on, this might be the edge thing. No, it's not the edge thing. Surface detail. Nope. Okay, well, something's going on there. Um, and so I had um, upped it to me working on it for at least two days uh, a week, uh, one hour every session. So you'll be seeing um, videos Monday to Friday. Obviously, if that week um, I couldn't do uh, two, then you'll still get the one on Monday because um, that's the commitment that I had made for... Um, that's the commitment that I had made earlier on for the end of this year, and I'll stick to that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so you'll, you should, should start to see, um, some more, uh, videos coming from me, uh, every week now. Um, so yeah, so hopefully that's cool with you. Uh, I don't know how good the content's always going to be, but. Um, getting feedback from 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 you all on uh, on YouTube on, on the comments and stuff like that has been really helpful uh, because if you don't give me feedback in the comment section or over Twitter um, uh, in Twitch chat and stuff like that then um, then the only information that I have is through YouTube's analytics and. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, and YouTube Analytics is telling me that these type of videos um, is not really worth doing, and the videos that are worth doing are the um, tutorial videos, and that's it. Uh, so, all right, so, so that's looking pretty good. Now, what I do like about um, the clothing up here with some of the little scratches that it had. So I might go in and actually add some of that into the steel. Because I'm sure, no matter what kind of steel you have, uh, you're going to have a little bit of scratches and stuff, right? So uh, I'm going to go in and I'm going to, so I just quick, so I just save. Let me grab some water here. So yes, um, Leave comments. Uh, give me feedback. Let me know what you guys are liking. Let me know if you like the one once a week thing. Um, I know through analytics that um, yes, uh, the ever since I switched to once a week, 
uh, my numbers have grown, my subscribers counts have grown, my views have grown. Um, so, I, so I knew that, okay, this is working. This is something that obviously people enjoy and like. Um, so I have to continue doing it. Uh, but again, um, I haven't really heard much comments from people on, 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 on if they like it or not. Um, even s things as simple as like, oh, do you like having me play music or whatever? Personally, I don't. Um, when I was when I watch and edit and cut out my videos and stuff like that on Twitch, and I'm listening to myself, uh, I'm I'm kind of like I'm not sure if I like the music thing. If I was like literally, if I was streaming for like four hours like some other creative streamers then maybe i can put on music because i can't imagine talking for four hours straight um but so yeah so it's just these little things right so let's go scratches smart mass i'm pretty sure there's a scratch generator somewhere here stain scratch so i'm gonna just go to my steel, I'm gonna create another uh, fill layer here, and this is probably gonna be the last thing that I do before I sign off. Um, I don't need a color; I just need. Um, do I want roughness? Uh, metalness. It is gonna be metal. Mm. Let's. Okay, well for now let's leave it at that. Um, and then stain scratches. Put this smart mask on there. And then this way we can kind of see. Okay, so there we go. So now we have some stain scratches. Might be a little bit too much. So right now I'm leaving it as white. Wait, why is it white? Roughness, metalness. Whoa. Okay, so definitely doesn't need metal. Uh, roughness. Along with those lines. What happens if, okay, so if I just go full roughness right now, ooh, that gives it like a really. But if I go full shininess, things like that. So we just want a subtle difference in the material. So we'll go something like that. And then we will dial this back because this is a little bit too harsh, right? So global balance, let's bring this back a little bit. Yeah, just bring it just a little bit back. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So now we do get a few scratches. Let me see if I turn this off. Turns on. So this we just get a little bit of the scratchiness going on, get a little bit of material breakup. So the scratches are kind of happening on the edges there, which is exactly what we want. Um, now what kind of plaster cracked? What happens if I just kill that? Yeah, that's more of what I want, I think. Um, Um, let's go balance. So it's less, too much. Let's go do a point four. Oh, point four is like almost nothing. Uh, okay, let's keep it at point five. And then, ooh, 0.5 is a lot. Wow, geez, 0.4 and 0.5 is like such a big difference. So 0.45, just me in the middle. There we go. And then well, let's go contrast. There we go. That's a lot better. I like that. Yep, so now you get just a little bit of scratches going on here. Just a little bit of breakup. I like that. Um. Cool. Yeah, so I think now there's still something bugging me and it's just this little area here. I feel like this whole thing should be uh, dirty. Hold on, let me just make sure I name my scratches here. I'm gonna go paint, 
paint the mask with the dirt. Um, what's the brush that I have on right now? Painted wall. That's the brush that I have. Okay, so let's I'm just gonna paint this a little bit more in, just because I'm not sold on this yet. I'm gonna add the flow a little bit higher. Yeah, I just want this area to kind of. Oh, I accidentally painted. Okay, so this might be one of those areas where it's like it's probably easier to just paint in here. So I'm just gonna go F1 to get into this view. And then I'm just going to paint it here, like that, right? So now if I, let me go tab. So now if I go like this, I can see it, right? Cool. And then what I'll do is now I'll X, and then I'll just do a quick kind of, because I just want a thin layer of it. I don't want a thick layer. like. Thin layer of it there just something like that tab get out of here there we go okay cool so I think that's pretty much good for the texturing um, and adding like scratches and details and stuff like that, to the sword um, we're gonna do that kind of same process with the sheath the next time and then that's pretty much it and I think I'm pretty much done with this asset I'm gonna render in marmoset and then we'll move on to our next project, um, which I'll I'll show I'll I'll let you guys know what that is. Uh, but yeah, please let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, Twitter is where I'll uh, post up a lot of my renders, work in progress renders, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. See you guys again next time.